Is there a way that you can prevent people within your organization from sharing sensitive data with others? Well, if you use Microsoft 365, you're in luck because there's something called data loss prevention. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you all about data loss prevention and how it can provide extra security for your business. But before we start, a quick introduction as always. My name is Jonathan Edwards. And I'm a business IT consultant from Yorkshire in the UK. Now, I've got an IT company called Intel Integral IT and we help businesses with their IT support, the Microsoft 365 and the cyber security. Now please do me a quick favour, if you get any value from this video, please subscribe to my channel. think about the data within your business. Do you have any data that could be considered sensitive, valuable, or even regulated? This could be financial data, medical records, or intellectual property. Now have another think. What technology processes have you got in place to prevent people within your business sharing that data with other people? Now this might seem like a really difficult thing. There's so many emails flying in and out of your business every day. So many people have Microsoft Teams chats with others. And then you've got people sharing documents in OneDrive and SharePoint. How can you protect this data and make sure it's not overshared with internal or external people? Now, you might be thinking, well, our business doesn't have any sensitive data. We don't store anything like medical records. We're not in an industry that's regulated. But have a think about this. You could even have a spreadsheet with all the members of staff that you employ on there with their addresses and the date of births. This too is information that you need to protect. Now, as a business owner, it's your responsibility to protect all the data coming in and leaving your business. Now, people might overshare data either maliciously or by accident. So how can you use technology to protect your data. Plus, with the emergence of cloud computing and working from home, does this task just become a whole lot more difficult? Well, if your business uses Microsoft 365, your job just got a whole lot easier. Because within Microsoft 365, there is something called DLP, and that stands for Data Loss Prevention. Now, with DLP, you can create policies to make sure that the data that is important to your business is kept secure, and it's not not overshared. So how does DLP work? DLP analyzes content looking for certain patterns and keywords. Now a good example of this is looking at credit card information. Now hands up who has ever sent credit card information by email and hands up again if you've received someone's credit card information by email. Now you don't need me to tell you that you should never send credit card information by email not without encrypting it first but so many people do it without a second thought. Now how do you know that people within your business aren't sending credit card information by email. So how would DLP help in the example of sending credit card information by email? Well, a credit card number is usually four blocks of four numbers. They might even mention expiry dates and three digit codes on the back. So DLP is clever enough to spot when a credit card number has been sent over email or over a Microsoft Teams message. And if you've got a policy in place to prevent this, then that message will get blocked. You can also do lots of of other things with DLP, like passport numbers and social security numbers, lots of different information can be blocked from leaving your organization. So how do you get started with data loss prevention in Microsoft 365? Now you might be sat there thinking, yeah, seems like a good idea this DLP, but how do you get started? You've got all this information, where do you start? Now the first recommended step when it comes to data loss prevention is for you to do a little bit of audit of all the data you've got in your organization organization. What do you need to protect? What's private? What comes under regulation? You've got to do a little audit. Now, fortunately, Microsoft make it a little bit easy to get started with DLP because they've got lots of pre-built templates in place depending on the country that you reside in. I'm going to show you these in a moment. Now, just before we dive in and look at DLP in Microsoft 365, I must state that it does depend on the Microsoft 365 license that you have. DLP isn't available with Microsoft 365 365 Business Basic or Business Standard. We always recommend that our customers use Microsoft 365 Business Premium and you will get DLP with Business Premium. DLP is also available in the enterprise plans of Microsoft 365. So without further ado, let's hop onto this computer behind me and we'll have a quick look at DLP in Microsoft 365. So to switch data loss prevention policies on in your Microsoft 365, you've got to be logged into the admin portal. So I'm logged into the web portal now and you can 
see I've got access to admin. So when I launch that, I go into the admin portal, which is here. But what we want is to go into the compliance admin center. So we scroll down here and you can see we've got the compliance admin center. So this will launch Microsoft Purview, the compliance portal where we can do all the bits of compliance that we need. We need to scroll down to data loss prevention. And you can see along the top, we've got some options. Um, the obvious one is policies. So we've got no policies in place at the moment, but I want a policy in place. So I'm gonna click on create policy. Now, some things to observe here. I can minimize the policies based on what country I'm in. So I could click on United Kingdom, because that's where I am. We can then look at the categories, and you can see they've got all these pre-built category policies in place, just in case we're starting from scratch and we don't really know where to start. Or we can create a complete custom policy, okay? So I'm gonna click on, I'll keep it as United Kingdom. I'm in the United Kingdom, and the template is the UK Data Protection. So what is this gonna do? It explains here. It's gonna protect this information. So it's gonna protect national insurance numbers, it's gonna protect passport numbers, UK and US, and SWIFT codes as well. So I'm gonna keep it at that because we're gonna have a look at it. We'll click on next. We can rename name that if we want to, and we can put in a description. I'll just leave it as it is and click on next. Now we can choose the locations where to apply this policy. So these are all switched on. So anytime we are mentioning passport numbers, national insurance numbers within Exchange email, within SharePoint sites and OneDrive accounts, and also within Teams chats and channel messages. So if someone tries to put a national insurance number in a Teams chat, it will be blocked. So we can cover all these locations. And even if we've got on-premises as well, if we've got hybrid setups. So I'm gonna leave that as it is. Also, we can include and exclude people or groups as well. So that's really handy. We can get really granular with it. Okay, we can click on next. Now it's just asking me to review it. And I can also go in and customize it if I want. There's lots of settings we can do. I will just click into edit here. We can add more sensitive info. So we could come into here and we could look at all these bits of sensitive information. So I could choose if I wanted scroll down to UK, I could think, well, actually, I want to add uh, driving license numbers. I want to add unique taxpayer references in there as well. So I'm going to add them in there. Um, it's about sharing data with people outside the organization. That is set there. And there's bits on notifications as well. So if this happens, who do we want to notify? So it's the person who sent it, the owner, and the owner of the SharePoint and OneDrive as well. And we can also customize the email text, something like this. This isn't allowed. I know that's a little bit vague, but you can customize the subject email how you want it. Okay, we can click on save. And we can click on next. Now we've got three options. We can test it if we want, we can keep it off, or we can just turn it right on. So I'm gonna turn it on, I'm gonna click on submit, and that will switch the policy on. So as you can see, that policy is on, okay? I can create other policies, but I'm just doing this as a test. So I've got this data protection. If you remember from my uh, description, we couldn't send national insurance numbers. That's what we're trying to prevent. So now I'm a user in this organization. I'm gonna send as a test to an external source, my national insurance number, okay? Just to see the behavior. see what happens okay let's just bring one up just a national insurance number now this isn't real so it's just a, a test one but it is the format of national insurance numbers in the UK here it is right I'm sending that out now as you would do click on next now you can see I've got an email can you see the subject and it's from Outlook and what does it say so we we customize this and put hey you this isn't allowed obviously you can put whatever you want in this but Microsoft 365 has said to me look this isn't allowed if I was customizing this for a client I would have something in this email like it's against the policy of our organization but you can see exactly how that works with email 
we're not allowed to send national insurance numbers out. Again, with DLP policies, we can create policies for credit cards, we can create policies for date of birth, addresses, whatever you want to do, you can really customize it. As I explained, it also works in Microsoft Teams. So if a, a policy is applies to Teams, it will block Teams chats. And you'll see an image like this in Microsoft Teams. So I hope that's been helpful. So I hope you've enjoyed the introduction to data loss prevention in Microsoft 365. Last week, we talked about retention policies in Microsoft 365. The week before, we talked about email encryption in Microsoft 365. Microsoft 365 have lots of different features that can help protect your business. My advice is to use them all together. I look forward to seeing you again soon.